here's my Gerard case trimmer and um, using this bad baby I make short work of trimming my brass and so I've had this thing for a few years now I can't remember when I got it but it's been about two or three years and uh, I would highly recommend this this case trimmer now I'm not gonna get into a big battle over which case trimmer is the best I know Dylan has uh, a case trimmer and it's a couple of other companies that make case, case trimmers too I can't really say that this is better than the other because I, I, I've never used the Dylan or any of the other case trimmers I can't say this is an improvement over say uh, trimming the case by hand which that that is what I do with my pistol brass so uh, I'm gonna turn it on for you you guys can see in there the rotating blade so you can change those blades out um, and you can have one set up um, exactly for the caliber that you're going to trim so you won't have to uh, I mean you could choose to adjust the blade try to adjust the blade yourself if you know what to do uh, you can adjust it but I just buy the blades already made uh, to set to that specific caliber and same thing with the cullet this is what you would stick your your shell into and it would um, um, it it presses off the shoulder so you have to set the depth of this 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 cullet and uh, I plan this is what I actually plan on using for uh, to make my 7.5 by 54 and a half brass. I'm just gonna trim some 7.5 by 55 brass down to that 7.5 by 54 and a half or 7.5 by 53 and a half. We'll see which one I decide to use. But I've seen pictures of his older models, and um, this model is, is is a drastic improvement over his older model. And you can see it's got a pretty beefed up motor to it. Um, the older model apparently didn't have an on off switch and uh, it's got his address on here so if you ever get a chance take a look at his website I mean he makes uh, he has a setup to where you can get the cullet and the blade for just about any rifle caliber and even if it's not listed on his website as long as you have uh, the reamer for that particular caliber he can make you one. So I want to have one made for 8x56 Hungarian. But that's probably going to be kind of hard because I can't find a, a set of reamers for it. I'm pretty sure there's some that exist, but they're not easily accessible to me. I'll turn it on one last time for y'all so you can see it. And if you have any questions about it, just comment. You got this little plastic piece. I always have that on. Uh, that, that keeps the, the brass shards from getting all over the place. Now I've seen people use it. I've seen videos where people use it like this. You stick your brass in and people use it where you put your brass in. Either way, I mean it worked. Both, both ways work. I've used both ways so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I prefer to use it this way I guess. That way I can stick my brass in, make a slight turn. All the brass shards fall to the bottom. But it doesn't matter, personal preference. But like I said, if you have any questions, just comment.